throughout our lives. And this may be what God's put on my heart for me. You guys can just hang out and listen. Throughout our lives, God has put people in our place to plant seeds. Some of them never saw the fruit of what they planted. Whether it was parents, grandparents, friends, fellow prayer warriors, whatever. I have a few of those in my past that never got to see here. Abraham never saw it. You look at scripture, there's a whole list of people who acted on faith, never getting to see the finale of what they had their faith for. And I said this at the memorial service, and I, I, I feel impressed to say it again, and then with a little bit, this little picture God gave me. We've each had something planted. We have a responsibility to to help it grow, not to let it go to waste. From wherever, whether or not Dr. Henry Wright, Pastor Henry, uh, Hank, Dad, Papa, whatever name associated to it as pastor, elder, brother, apostle, prophet, evangelist, healer, whatever title, front runner name attaches to who he is in our lives, we have a responsibility to take it Nurture it, grow it, duplicate it. I, I had a, a moment. I was sitting there while Scotty was talking, and I, I can't get away from it, and I, I, I hope I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong, but blah, 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 blah. I had a moment sitting there. I, I said when, when dad flew away, I was like, man, he is, he's with God, he's happy, he's safe, he's protected, all those things. And sitting here, I missed a point that to me kind of just like was like, yeah. I know we will see him again. It's our faith. It's where we believe. But I just had this nice, warm, little fuzzy feeling. You know, he's probably spent the last 30 days, you know, last three weeks or whatever it is. Getting to share with his mom all the cool things that her prayers for him opened doors that started the whole seed in his life. Against adversity, against things with his father, against the things that people had said, but because she planted that seed long ago and never got to see it come to fruition, never got to see it harvest, never got to see that. I bet that was the most awesome meeting to watch outside of getting to see God. It's like, ooh, father, nice, yes, oh, I'm so happy, I'm nice and warm. Jesus, thank you so much. Where's my mom? You know, and I, I just wanted to share that nice, warm, fuzzy thing in, in my heart because, you know, our faith is we will see again. The people that have gone on before, the prophets, the apostles, the, the people who, who paved the way in our life whether or not there were ones in our life that touched us and prayed for us or we read in Scripture, God's used each and every one that help pave and direct our journey. And we need to listen. We need to follow. And I agree, trust God in whatever that journey looks like. 